Hi, I'm Jerry McCarr, and in this video I talk about side effects and the tools they've created to help you make amazing effects for your games. Game developers face a growing demand to build huge, immersive worlds populated with vast amounts of content. In order to achieve great gameplay and meet deadlines, a procedural approach using Houdini offers a smarter way to create quality games. Houdini is ideal for prototyping in-game experiences using particles, fractured rigid body dynamics, fluids, and more. You can then export to vertex caches, sprites, vectors, and flow maps to create optimized effects for your game. Intel Optane helps with performance in many ways. You can now scale up jobs to be more realistic and have the cost-effective large memory needed to make that possible. You can also do more work locally rather than having to run everything on a farm and get things done faster as opposed to paging to a disk. We talked to Jeff Late, a senior mathematician at SideFX, about his experience with Optane technology to give you a better idea of the benefit. Hello, I'm Jeff Late. I'm a senior mathematician at SideFX Software, and I'm here today to talk about Optane technology. When Intel asked us to evaluate Optane technology, I was curious whether or not it would live up to the claims. The increase in demands in both film and games have resulted in an explosion in the amount of memory required. Our desks, desktops now need 128 gigabytes, and we don't see any reason why they would not want more. The major limitation is usually the price and how much you can actually address on the current chips. This is particularly obvious in the case of simulation, where the more memory you have, the bigger a simulation you can run. And uh, we've always been interested in uh, trying to get our simulations as uh, big as possible, because then you get higher quality and more detail in the result. When Intel approached us with Optane technology, we wanted to see whether or not this would work in the simulation space. If you exceeded your normal 64 gigs of memory and started using Optane, uh, would it keep going just as fast as before, or would it drop off a cliff of swapping? Uh, let me explain further with some graphs. With this volcano test, we have a rapidly growing simulation which allows us to track where we run out of memory and what happens when we do. The orange line here tracks the number of voxels that are used in the simulation. As you can see, it rapidly increases into the billions and billions of voxels as we get to the right-hand side of the graph. The different color graphs show the different configurations and how fast they are. In this case, the lower is a faster simulation. And we can see with the 64 gigabyte Windows configuration, which is yellow, at a certain point here, we run out of memory and we start swapping, and things become horribly slow and it eventually crashes. Uh, similarly, the 64 gig um, Linux configuration has a bit better memory management, and so it lasts longer before it runs out of memory and swaps. It also does better with swapping than Windows did, but again, it eventually just crashes and gets a lot slower per voxel. Uh, meanwhile, the blue and the gray uh, graphs uh, respect what the Optane configuration is. In this case, it's either Windows or Linux, and it has 64 gigs of DDR memory and another 512 gigs of Optane memory. And I found particularly interesting that there's no kink in the graph around the point where it switched over to having to use Optane memory. Let's take a look at Houdini running the smoke simulation and see how it works. For this demo, we are using an HP Z8 that is operating Houdini. Intel Optane DC Persistent Memory is a feature on our two-socket scalable gold processor platforms like the HP Z8. In this case, we have configured the Optane as 2LM or large memory. This is a cost-effective way to use the Optane as DRAM. In this side-by-side -side comparison, we see the system with its large memory capacity using Optane 2LM. It enables Houdini effects to generate more frames on the Volcano Smoke Simulation as compared to DRAM because the system does not have to swap data out to the disk. To learn more about side effects and Intel Optane technology, visit the homepages in the links provided. And thanks for watching.